You are a bit of a Devin Haney fan. So yeah, I am a Devin I'm Haney not, fan. It looks like he's got a bit more power at this weight than he had. This young man is getting better and better with each fight. He's a very good technical boxer. I think he's the best of that bunch. I think Haney's going to win, but I want Garcia to win. Garcia, super exciting, super quick. Garcia's more natural, talented boxer. I think he's got power now as well. Round 10. Welcome back to BoxCast. Today, Simon. Yeah. We are going to be previewing the fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, which is on April the 20th in the Barclays Center in New York. I'll do a quick tail of the tape to get us warmed up and then we Beautiful. can... Beautiful. It's going to be for the WBC World Super Lightweight, so it's 140 pounds. Uh, they're both American fighters or fight out of america haney's record is a perfect one i've always wanted to say that 31 <laughs> with 31 fights 31 Should wins have said it like michael buffett <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> next time uh, 15 wins by ko so he's got a 48 percent ko although he's not really a ko artist he's a technical boxer he's age 25 he's five foot nine so he's 175 centimeters He's 70.9 inches reach, which is 180 centimeters orthodox stance. He's got zero losses, stoppages, or anything else. David debuted in 2015, and he's got 210 pro rounds. Garcia is also 25. He's 5 foot 10, so 178 centimeters tall. He's got a 70.1 inch reach, so 178 centimeters, so nearly the same. He's orthodox as well. He's got 24 wins, 20 by KO, so 83% KO percentage. He's got one loss, which is to our man Tank Davis, I believe, by knockout. So he got stopped uh, and zero draws. He debuted in 2016. I think Haney and Garcia do have history and have sparred on mates as well before. And he's got yeah. 100 pro rounds. In terms of rankings or the current rankings are super lightweight. Devin Haney is number one for ring and he isn't ranked by any of the others. And uh, Ryan Garcia is number six in the WBC. So, I've think? seen his sparring videos. Uh, not really. I've only seen little clips. A lot of sparring videos I've seen is Garcia. Oh, no, I haven't seen the recent ones. No, Garcia, ones. Clip and Haney. Mm. Um, oh, no, I've seen that one, but there's, the, there's like the recent ones where Garcia has gone off the... Gosh, he, he has these. So I haven't watched them because I don't really want to ruin it for me. But I don't I mean, know whether they're real. Before or not. we come on to the fight, Garcia does seem like he's lost the plot. Yeah, yeah. There is that uh, conundrum. He really does seem like he's lost the plot. Um, I've been a Ryan Garcia fan for a while, but. I'd, did I'd, you see it coming though? Because I didn't. I thought he was all right. He's, you know, he's a good looking guy. He's got a good following. He's, he's got, got a good knockout percentage. He, and everything. he just seems to have literally come out of nowhere. lost the plot. Yeah. Um, I don't know why he's lost the plot. Um, a few people have talked about, you know, maybe cannabis involved or something. I don't know. That's speculation. We're just speculating. We don't uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean. He's always seemed to be quite a, a guy that he's had respect for his opponents. I mean, cause didn't he come over, you know, when he, when he fought Luke Campbell? Mm -hmm. um, that's what I've thought. He, he, he had a lot of respect for Luke Campbell even after the fight and before the fight. And But the, I'm really, it's got to the point now where he's that lost the plot. I'm like, I don't know. You need a bit of help, mate. I'm intrigued to see the weigh-ins and the face off yeah. and the head to heads to see um, what he's actually like. Whether that was just an act or whether what he's it's doing an act something. to get into Devin Haney's head, or mm -hmm. but I know I genuinely think he's he's gone a bit cuckoo. Um, Do you think that affects his chances in the fight? You don't know, don't you? Because you don't know what version's going to turn up. Problem is as well. I don't know this respect his promotion company what is golden boy but they haven't really looked after him i mean i think even there was 
like I've seen like De La Hoya saying things about him, and I'm just like, yeah. oh my god, this poor lad. Um, it's like he, since his loss, it's Evans just crumbled. Um, I think he needs to remember everybody in the dogs lost to <laughs> Javante Davis, so it's no getting knocked out by I him. Know, it's no it's shame, the, really. I know, but I don't, I don't know what it is. Anyway, yeah, anyway. onto the fight. Um, you are a bit of a Devon Haney fan. So yeah, I am a Devon Haney I'm not fan. Really, but you know, I am a Devon I do Haney respect fan. Him, but I'm not a um, fan. And uh, this young man is getting better and better with each fight. He mm -hmm. really, really he, is. I think we've said before he looks well better at this at yeah. 140 than he did at 135. Um, I think this is more his. Pro uh, uh, well, he may be he may be able to go bigger, but at the moment it looks more like he's in his proper weight size. Skill set wise, he's superb. Yeah, I think his fight against Progre, he was very, very good. He's he fast. He covered. Yeah, yeah. He's got great footwork. Um, he's a very good technical boxer. Superb technical boxer. Mm. And I think we said in our Haney Progre, he's also it looks like he's got a bit more power at this weight than he had. Does look like it, but he's, he's turning into a man as well. What is he? How old did 25. you say? 25. So he's, Both of them are 25. He's turning into a man as well. Um, I think he's the best of that bunch. Mm -hmm. I know people will disagree with me on that, but I do think he is the best of the bunch in it. Um, Garcia... Do you know who Garcia reminds me of? Amir Khan. Yeah, yeah. Super exciting, super quick, but he's vulnerable. Yeah. Um, it's really who he catches first, isn't it? Because he's capable of yeah. knocking out yeah. Goss, uh, Haney. I mean, he's been on the canvas a and few Cam times, Box. hasn't he? And Luke Campbell had him on the canvas. Um, I think he's just his style. He, he, he the way he boxes, yeah, like, a, you, you've got, you're open enough do, to do get Do you know caught. what, he's, a, he's, a really I mean, he's won most of them. So he's, he's a like really entertaining good. boxer. That's why I think he's got the he name. He really is. Um, and like I say. And to be fair, he was flying until Tank Davis as well. Yeah. And then I don't think the loss so much as whatever's happened after it, like you've mentioned that the beginning, really, that's sort of ruined. It's the, a bit strange. That was in a catch weight, wasn't it? Was it like yeah, 135 yeah. pound? Um it was a body there shot. There was a few clauses and things, I think, which yeah. were a bit like... So he was coming down, so he's probably drained more than what he was. Because it was a body shot that done him, wasn't it? But the man does hit quite hard. So. Well, he was winning probably on points still, that point. No, because I think he went down in the third as well or something. Well, well before he went down, because yeah. I think he went down twice, isn't it? Or two, three times? But I think he was... The first few, the first start, I think he was actually doing better. But then it probably takes time to. I think he's got on. a lot of confidence going into this fight because of this, from what I've, I've I've heard in sparring, he's he possibly got the better of Devin and Haney when they were younger. Mm -hmm. So I think he's going. Well, I think in, in amateurs and with Olympic yeah. training, they both they have thought before. Or, so or think, at least sparred. I, I think, think he's going in with and confidence. And they are mates or were uh, quite close. I yeah, don't know now. I mean. Because they're still a bit fairly respectful of what yeah, I've well, seen. That's what Devin Haney was saying. He was in one of the like, the, 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 it was, whether it was in the hotel lobby, he was, he was like saying to Ryan Garcia, "This isn't you. Who are you? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know this version of you. This, this version. What, what's happened to you?" Um, I'd. I mean, I'm hoping the real version of Ryan Garcia turns up. That one's just an act, or, I or it's just a momentary lapse. I can't because I think if he's not all there, I think Haney will just take him to school. I think Haney's going to take him to school anyway, in my opinion. I want Garcia to win. Stop. I think Haney's going to win, but I want Garcia to win just so he gets back on the track. I feel sorry. I for just him. don't see it. For yeah, I, I think Haney's going to win, but I, I would like it if Garcia was would win this fight. It'd be quite good. Liven up that division. Um, it it's a tough fight to to call, it really is. Um, but like you say, you're depending on which Ryan Garcia turns up. Yeah, yeah. Has he been? Has that defeat to Tank just completely done completely his head in? destroyed him? Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember it happened to? Was it, There's was a few boxes that happened to Victor him, Ortiz when he fought Andre Berto. 
he just kind of gave up. And then after that, there was you know because he was flying the Victor Ortiz, he was knocking everyone out. Um, and he kind of just like gave up against Andre Berto, and he just kind of went downhill after that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know whether it's just like I said, I don't think he's got the best people around him, Ryan Garcia. I really, really don't. Talent wise, he's got talent wise is everything. Like yeah, you say, he's, he's got everything. Like you say, he reminds me of Amir Khan. He's super quick. He's got fast footwork. His, his body punching and then up to the head. His, his transition is, is absolutely yeah, yeah. superb. Um, obviously, speed, time, and makes power. Um, he's going to. He, I, just, I think he's got a good chance in it, but it's, the problem is, it's which version of Garcia it turns He has up. got a chance. Because Haney ain't the biggest puncher, although obviously he's he f- seems to have filled out. Like we said, he's become a bit more of a man at super. I think what the, the, the thing with Haney is, he's very very clinical. Yeah, yeah. And if Haney he gets, doesn't waste punches, he's and if Haney gets thing, your he head, gets he's he'll he still will turn it up a bit. He's, yeah, a bit, but he won't rush in. Yeah, he won't go all crank the dial. He's just turning up a bit. You know, he'll... Uh, he's patient. He knows he's, on points he's, he's got. Yeah. I mean, he's, his engine's fantastic. Yeah. Um, let's not forget he, who Devin Haney's for. You know, he went over to Australia twice to fight George Cambosis. Um, and I think he did that off his... That was a mandatory, I think. Well, no, I, I think he did it off his own backing because Cambosis was a champion. So yeah. it was the... He was the mandatory for one of the belts, isn't it? And now because it, the, yeah, that's well, they, like, they expected it to be Tiafimo, didn't it? Yeah. And obviously that got upset. So, um, but he, he couldn't have which, his. Which wait to Tiafimo? I think he's moved up again, hasn't has he? he? Moved up yeah. again? Has he ran from here? I don't think he got paid very well, Devin Haney, though, because he wouldn't let Eddie Hearn in on the promotion. <laughs> I remember that. Um, but he's now back with Eddie Hearn. Um, well, well, I think the first one it was like I said. I think it was supposed to be Tiafimo because he got beat. Then the Cambosis thing, but Cambosis did quite well out of it. But he went there and did it, and then obviously the rematch as well there. So, yeah, I think I think he's made a bit more money afterwards, shall we say, like that. I like I say I've I've always been a fan of Devin Haney. I think he's. Uh... I'm not a fan. I think he's good, but like obviously, I I think you're he has, has a, suffered a defeat. I know why you're not I a fan. I think he's suffered a defeat. Let, right? Let. <laughs> why don't we? Why aren't you a massive fan? Let's be honest. Because, because he, I think he got beat. He because he beat by Loma. Lomachenko. No, he, um, he got beat by Loma, <laughs> and Loma got cheated. That's why I'm not a fan. You know, uh, so that's why I'm sporting Garcia in this. If one. you look at his last few fights, it was pro great. Won Lomachenko won George Cambosis George Cambosis What do you mean won? Joseph Diaz Jorge Linares Yorkus Gamboa You know he's got a, He has got a good He's got record. a good resume But yeah he got beat by Loma He Still didn't get beat, by he Loma. Get beat by he Loma He won by two rounds No he lost by four He won by two He lost by four he retained his WBA, WBC, IBF, and ring. He was, That's he was why he scarpered from that division. <laughs> so, no, no, it's not. He destroyed him. Um, no, he didn't. <laughs> I sp- but let's put that aside. Yeah, so he is a hell of a boxer. He is, I think. But it, what? Well, Mike, my, my thing with him, he was a little bit, because yeah, he's so clinical, but he was a little bit boring in some of his fights. Not him. Yeah, I, I, get, yeah I know but, what you mean. Against Progre is more like, up a bit more like, yeah, this is what I want to watch. I mean, against I George Cambosis, both fights I found were a bit boring, but he was just so clinical. He just boxed his, his Well, to be off. honest, actually, I didn't mind them. Uh, but like the, the rematch was just, the, it was a bit boring because it was just the same. The first one was quite good because you were still on who's going to, you know, is Cambosis yeah, actually that Cambosis good? Yeah, because Cambosis come from nowhere, didn't he? And he just... He derailed it. And, yeah. Um, you know, the plan was really for Tiafimo to have that belt and then go on, isn't it? But um, so it was. I, I enjoyed it because Cambosis derailed it. So it was different. It was a different crowd and not Aussie crowd. I just the first fight was good because you seen him like he was very very good in how he turned you know neutralized Cambosis' weapons that he'd used against Tiafimo. Yeah. And then the second one was just the same. It was a pointless match really because he outclassed Cambosis. And then yeah, I just think it's Devin Haney's improvement. I can just see it. He's young, isn't he? So that's the thing. You can but see him I can just through. see it fight by fight. He's, he's just getting better and better. So I'm and sporting better. Garcia. I've decided. 
<laughs> it's for Ryan Garcia. I feel sorry for him, so I'm going to support Ryan I Garcia. I don't feel sorry for him. He's lost the plot. And yeah, like you said, he reminds me of Amir Khan, so we're going to support <laughs> Ryan Garcia. Um, <laughs> But I still like, think I still I, think Haney's going to win. I was a Garcia but I was a fan. Garcia. I, I, you know, I was. I was all, I, 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 he I, lost the tank. Everybody loses tank, so I'm still yeah, sporting. I mean, I, I was a golf. <laughs> I thought he was going to do a lot better against tank, though. I think he got caught, didn't he? Though, so it's not like uh, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Um, I think the tank fight just come a bit too soon for him. Yeah. Like say he was on a he was on a whirlwind, Bonnie. His levels, he's and then this tank's level. So, this uh, I just I'm just open his ego. I mean, it can't be his ego because he got beat, but no. Well, I'm hoping it's just a momentary lapse of whatever's going on yeah. at the moment. But in the fight, he turns I up. I do, I'm like, because I think if both you, of them turn up, it's a hell of a yeah, fight. Yeah, I mean, don't get it's a very interesting. Yes, match. I'm a Devin Haney fan, but I am a Ryan Garcia fan as well because I think, like I say. I love. I think there's the opportunity for this to be a hell of a fight, both technically and yeah. as an actual scrap. It could if be they go, superb. And I'd like it if it turned uh, into that. Not just be a technical wear out, but I think if Garcia properly turns up, you'll does get Gar- the, who's te- turn into a bit of a scrap. Who's technically the best fighter, do you think? Ooh. By a small amount, Haney. Mm. I think uh, Garcia is more gifted naturally, yeah. but I think Haney's. Like, like you said, he improves in all of. I think he's worked it past. He's quicker. Ooh, mm, Garcia. Yeah, I'll go. With Garcia has got quicker, slick, slick speed. Although not by a huge amount, because uh, Haney's quick as well. Yeah. But I think yeah, Garcia is slightly quicker. I think Haney is like more polished. Garcia is more uh, natural, talented boxer. I think Haney is a bit more polished, and his and his work ethic has improved it. Do you think the fight will go ahead? I hope so. Because what, what, what are we? I've, I've got a horrible feeling. You know, it's not going to go. Well, well, I was thinking about this video. That's why I was leaving it for a bit. Is because we've, we said we we're going to make it before. Is if it's actually going to go ahead with what's going on with yeah, Garcia? I did. I, I had a horrible feeling when I was watching him in them interviews. I, I was go, just go going. On. I want to look up, see what the latest is. Is it still going? On? I was it's like, still booked in. So. Wow, this is a bit. I, I can't see it happening. Um, it's Garcia. I think, it, and it's on the zone, isn't it? Well, obviously because of. Yeah, it's we'd love to zone. Yeah, so the zone should be. Hopefully, it will go ahead. The zone will be paying a lot of money for this fight. Yeah, yeah. so they're not going to be happy. So if it doesn't, yeah, I hope. But like I said, I hope Garcia's back to like be his I do, best. I do because you I know hope what, he's his best. It and, will and, make, and it will be one hell of an epic. It'll fight. be a super. Uh, do you know what? It'll be could could be the fight of the year. Yeah, yeah. It really, really could be. Um, Obviously, well, there's a good May coming, so I'm hoping this is like the good start to that like period. There's a few good fights yeah. coming up, and I so think I think when you, the, the week, it'd be nice to have it. Like, yeah, the I'd week, be feel bad if we get disappointed. The week before the build up's going to be really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's going to really well, wet your way appetite. I want to see the thingy, and we'll probably do another. Well, hopefully, it goes ahead. Touch wood, and we'll do another video on it. Isn't it a bit closer to the date? Um, just so at. just so we know it's actually going to happen. But yeah, I think it's because it's about a month away at the moment. So yeah. hopefully it's close enough where they would, would know if they're going to cancel. Yeah, I mean, you type it in. <laughs> when was that from? Has he made some more stupid videos? Right, well, there's a Let's go. emotional Ryan Garcia. Right, I've just typed in Ryan Garcia and the first thing that comes up. Emotional Ryan Garcia breaks down in, in tears on TikTok Live. Yeah, I don't know what this social media thing, because didn't he go off? He said he was going to stop, and then he comes back, and he's got Instagram wars going on. Some, Instagram Live. Some posts have caused widespread worry, including claiming he was high during an interview and suggesting he was under attack. Many have urged Garcia to be pulled out of the showdown with Haney with the WBC having already held preliminary talks with the New York Commission over the partition, participation of the fight. But then on, you've got another one is Ryan Garcia lights up the gym, leaked sparring footage, hints of trouble for Devin Haney. And then on one of them, you've got like, let, let's see this, Campbell Hatton tells Ryan Garcia's team to take action before Devin Haney fight. Hamilton. 
Yeah. It's just very, very... It's a bit polarizing there. One way he should be worried about him. <laughs> and then he's breaking down anyway. So I'm hoping it's just all an act. <laughs> and really, <laughs> then he's back to the proper it's Ryan just, Garcia. The real Ryan Garcia. Yeah, turn. like I say, I don't... <laughs> What's that song? The, way, the real Ryan Garcia, the real... <laughs> Don't Real hold your, slim shady yeah, turns up. <laughs> don't hold your breath that this fight goes out. Well, that's why I wanted to make a video before it gets cancelled. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> um, so there's a lot going let's on. Let's hope it does. Yeah, I mean, obviously we don't know what's going on. He's a, he's still a young man. He's obviously well. In serious, I hope everything's okay. Like I said, I hope it's yeah. an act. It's just for the publicity, so he's building up his. If views. he has got some issues. You know, yeah, then I think his team, his, needs to his take team care around of him. him should look after him yeah. because he's a because it's a disgrace if he doesn't. Yeah, he's a special talent. He is a special talent. Ryan he's Garcia. well young enough. If, um, if he needs a bit of time to recuperate, he's got yeah. way more than enough time. Um, and do you know what? They're like someone like Devin Haney will not want to fight him if he's not ready. If he's not ready, um, it doesn't do many. It doesn't do many good. And Devin Haney would. I think. Well, I think there's rumours that are those special boys Shaku could step in if. Uh, yeah, if I mean, they'll, they'll find it an, a replacement. Yeah, we want to see the fight. We really do, but not at the cost of someone's mental health, I think. Well, 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 I want to see, I'll tell you why I want to see the fight. I want to see the fight so I know that Ryan Garcia's, you know, okay. it's just all whatever it is, is yeah. done, he's ready to go. It uh, means he's back to the real Ryan Garcia. I mean, I mean, we'll keep a close eye on it, um, but... Because he's one of the people I like. I'd been excited to watch. No, I, I am. I Whoever know, he's I, fighting, I, I, yeah, I do. I really like him. And I wasn't that disappointed at Tank Davis. I think, yeah, a little bit. We expected it to go a bit longer, yeah. but like, like I say, I'm, I'm but, a, you know, I'm a Haney fan, but I am a Garcia fan as well. I, I think Haney will win it. Um, points. You don't know. It's, it's Ryan Garcia going to do an Oliver McCall and just start crying in the ring. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh at that. But. No, that's not funny, Simon. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen, though, do you? Well, that's the fun of it, isn't um, it? Well, well, in ser- like just obviously go against that. In seriousness, obviously he shouldn't be getting in the ring if he's in that type of no, stage. No, he shouldn't. In seriousness, he shouldn't. Um, but as like funny I, as it would be to see, no, no, I don't want not, to see that. I really, nobody really should allow that. I like, I like the kid. He's, he's, and a, <laughs> but if he's in a good state, it it is an intriguing fight because, like, you can see anything happen, isn't it? Really. All right, I am. I've, I made a prediction. I made a prediction two weeks ago. A draw. That'd be a good result. I think it'll be a draw. Unanimous decision draw. Yeah. <laughs> if the Ryan Garcia and the Noel real Ryan Garcia turns up, turns up, it's a draw. Um, yeah. A really, really, but a brilliant fight. And you think it'll be a rematch? And I think Ryan Garcia will take Devin Haney to a place he's never had to go before. And, and like I say, I'm more of a Haney fan than a Garcia fan, but I think it, it's going to ask a, a lot of questions of Devin Haney. Um, I think he's going to have to go through the trenches. Ryan yeah. Garcia will not want to lose to Devin Haney. Yeah, yeah. He really, I don't think David Haney will want to lose no. to Ryan Garcia. And that's what makes it a really good fight. Well, I think if both of them turn up, it can go the distance. And I think both of them can have really good moments. And it can be a close yeah, fight. The only... But I don't want it to be boring, like no. standoff technical. I'd like him to get at it. I the think thing technical, it... but like also scrapping. And then, you know, I oh, think Garcia might even hit the canvas. I He's... can see both of them do it. Uh, Haney ever been on the canvas? I think he has in one of the early fights. Did we say it in one of our in yeah, one of the early And he's been wobbled but it was a couple only of times. When like, I, he's been wobbled definitely yeah, a few times. Um, I think he's been on in one really on a one of early because how many he's fight? Yeah, he's had a thirty-one fight yeah. in some of his uh, up to the fifth, six or something like that. Well, if you let if you know, put it in the comments, please. Yeah, um, we'd like to know that, have that confirmed. But I think yeah, generally he's too slick. His defense is too good. I, do, isn't I it? just I've got. He's got better, isn't yeah. it? As his it, it? Like I say, if the. If both of them come in in tip top shape, focused mentally, physically, I think it's a hell of a fight. It could be the fight of the year. Yeah. I don't think it. I think it'll be a chess match for a round and a half, and then it 
Well, well what you want is the chess match, and then it quickly turns into a scrap, but yeah. it, like a classy technical yeah. scrap. Like Morales Barrera type. That's how I can see it going. Yeah. And, but I can. I and then, think, to be honest, then I don't really yeah. care who wins. It'd just be fantastic to watch. A draw would be great because then we can watch it again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think Garcia. Or see them move on because I think both of them, it does credit to them. <laughs> yeah, I think they're both young enough that they can come back from it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, well, a draw is a good result for both. But I think it's the only thing team. that might worry me slightly is have we seen the weakness of Garcia and that he can't take the body shot? Possibly. Well, I think it, it, it's a good analogy to say that he's like the Amakan. I think there is weakness there more than in Haney. Yeah. But I think we would have said in Haney was a little bit lighter, but I think since he's got a super lightweight, he yeah, looks better. When you get time, would you? just type in Haney Garcia sparring, because it looks to me like Garcia seems to be getting the better of him in sparring. I know they say you shouldn't in sparring. But, well, well, to be honest, it wouldn't surprise but, me because Garcia has got, like we the, said, they're close on skills. When they're sparring as well, they're going at each other. Yeah, yeah. They, um, they, they, yeah. Well, hopefully that's what they're going to do. I've, that's I've, what I'm excited you know, for. I, 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 think it, I think it is. I think it's going to be fight of the year. I, I hope Garcia is all good. And it's going to be And he turns up cracking. and it's... And we know Haney's going to turn up. He's uber professional. Yeah, Haney will and, you know, his and, dad. And they go at it and it'd be super... Yeah. Um, I think Haney will have to change his game plan. He'll have to have a different game plan to get Garcia's. Is, is I, th- I think fighter. he'll go in with a game plan, but I think it's. I think he'll Evolve have to change it. it. In the fight. He's going to have to. Um, like I say, Garcia's got a variety of punches in. He's got. I think Garcia could possibly beat Haney to the jab, which yeah. what what I think Haney might have. That's why Haney might have to change his game. Um, I know that's a bold statement because Haney's got a great job, but I think Garcia will beat him to the job. Haney's got enough about him to do it. I um, think it's, it's going to be close in that. I mean, it, unless the Garcia doesn't really turn up and then it's going to be a bit like one side. So I think Haney can easily outpoint him on that if he doesn't turn up. But if both of them turn up, I think it's pretty close and it could go either way. I think the stoppage or knockdown more is in favour. Well, I would have said more in favour of Garcia. But since his last fight, I think Haney looks better here. So it's, I think he's got more chance. He could do it if he wanted Go to. Go on then, give us your prediction. I know uh, you don't want to I say wanna it. I want to give two. I want to give you what uh. I want and what I, <laughs> what I think is going to happen. <laughs> so what I think is going to happen, I think Haney will do him on points. Or like a later round stoppage, like 10, 11, 12 or something. Yeah, Just on wear out, like yeah. out gas him, but... But I think realistically more on points. Then what I want to happen is I want Garcia to win by knockout in about round ten, because then we get to watch nine rounds of, and and is great nine rounds you know of what? boxing, ten rounds of boxing. I, either any of them could have, that I've all of them could could happen. Um, it'd be a hard one to pick. I'd say they, Haney's the favourite going in. I would say so. Um. Even if both the best version of both, I think Haney's about 60 40 the favourite for me. I just think Haney's. Because of his slickness and he looks better at the I just weight. think he's grown into that. The, a man quicker and he's got the. I think he's got power now as well. I think that Well, well that's what I mean. Weight. He's grown into this yeah, size. He I looks better think... at this weight than he does. I think, like, so his KO percentage and stuff, I think he's a little bit forget... screwed because yeah. I think he's more at his right weight. I think he's. I think also as well as the way he's throwing his punches now, he's he's stepping into them a little bit more. Um, yeah, I think he when he once he knows that he can hit the person when he's got his timing, he puts a bit more yeah, into well, it. And, and his distance is. Um, but they said in the thing, I think he was heavier in his progress. Right? I did. I don't know if he said this in our preview or review of it, but he's 168 pounds when he was actually fighting. That's what they reckon. And I think he's more than what pro grade was that, they, you know, after the hydration, mm. after they've hydrated for 140. That's quite, that's why he looked so powerful. But he's maintained the speed. Yeah. Maybe even got a bit better with it, to be honest. Well, you can do, because don't forget, if you're if you're draining yourself down. I think that's what he was. I think it, a lightweight yeah, team's draining it's, themselves it's, too it's, much. It's, it's not I think good. a little bit of Garcia suffered from that as well against Mr. Davis. I hope so. I hope so. Um, so, 
I think this is more like equals on size and things. I don't think it's one war that even though Haney's come up, I think the bat, I think he's a natural at that weight. So I think it's close. I think, like I said, I think Haney probably has got the edge because of the things up to points or a later round wearing him down. But I would like Mr. Garcia just to get to see him come back. It'd be hilarious. Because I don't think it does that much damage to Haney either. Uh, okay. Because Haney will come back. Whoever wins, where do they go next? I think Chase after belts. So who's the who is in Super Light? Wipe out the wipe, you know, claim the division then. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's what Haney's plan is anyway, isn't it? But but the thing is they've got big fights. The pro, the thing is it's like what you said before. There's Mr. Stevenson if he comes out of retirement, Shakur. There's Tank for. Do you know who Haney the champions Nofer. are? Huh? Go on. Roland Romero, WBA. Devin Haney, WBC. Mm -hmm. Matias, IBF. TV. Oh, we've got Matias, he's quite good. Yeah, TV yeah. Mo Lopez, WBO. I think TF Mo. <sighs> Ooh. <clears throat> the ring. It's Tiafimo is champion. Mm -hmm. Devin Haney, Josh Taylor, Mateus, Roly Ramirez, Pro Gray, Hitchinson, Jack Catchell. Gary Russell, he's another one that he's a good and Sandor Martin. Um Well then Mateus is a knockout beast as well, isn't he? He's pretty good. <clears throat> Jack Cattrall, Josh Taylor. If Devin Haney wins, Jack, the, the winner could fight Jack Cattrall, Josh Taylor because they're both under match room. It would be an hard fight to make. I think Jack Cattrall can go to number one in WBA, possibly. Well, well, I think if Jack Cattrall wins, I think it's a good fight. <laughs> Josh Taylor, yeah. I'm not really a fan of. But, and I think he's been beaten by Tiafimo, isn't I mean, it? we will discuss that because we are going to do Although, it. Although, to be fair, if Josh Taylor actually cleans him out... Then you can say possibly, he's back. yeah. But I, I, I would be favouring Mr. Catrell. I that. think Haney would be calling out Lopez, though. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd want to do that. But be, I, I think that's where they'd go. Garcia as well. I think they go there because yeah, I, 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 I yeah, think either yeah. the winner of this could easily yeah, call out them. I mean, it just. If it's a draw, I hope they call out one of good, them as well. There's some good fights in that division that that could be made. Like say, we've got a podcast coming up with Josh Taylor, Jack Catrell. Um, obviously, that fight's been pushed back now. To it's been delayed. Otherwise, we would have been doing that yeah, as well. Yeah, to May. Um, but the winner of that puts themselves right they in the frame. They should be in that conversation. Um, I think the guy everyone's avoiding Matisse. I think He's everyone's beast. everyone's avoiding Gary Russell. Yeah, I think they're the two fighters that no one really wants to have a <laughs> no. Um, a locker. Well, I think that the, the thing is that they're, they're a little bit. Well, Mateus has got a bit more on the radar. I think they're a little bit more under the radar because of you got Tiafimo, Haney, and Co. People are taking the limelight. Garcia. Well, See, I, think, yeah, I think I think them two could be the best. The whole lot. I know because I don't rate I don't rate Tiafimo Lopez. Oh, well, I don't. I I'm really, a, we, really don't. I know, we've said I know this there's, a, there's a lot of Tiafimo fans Love out us. there. We have a lot of Tiafimo um, lovers. I am just not a fan fans. of his. Um, I've been, I. Just, I don't know what it is. Um, although his performance against Josh Taylor was really good, but his performance after that... But we thought he lost, didn't we? He didn't win. <laughs> no, he didn't really win. didn't win. Um, no, Tiafimo is a good boxer, but I think against really, really elite boxers, he's but not then you at got, that level. You know, you got but Roly he has got power, so he can turn a tide. Roly Mero Cruz are fighting next week actually them versus him would be quite good so you've got it you know you've got that the winner of that could is right up there because i think like say i think that's up for the wba belt pop i think um so there's some good fights there man yeah wba oh so romero's got the belt isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. did i say i think i said it wrong yeah on our video. well according to yeah, yeah, he, he's he's the according to our to, to Wikipedia. Um, See, you saying he wasn't world level? <laughs> he is. He's not world level. It's the WBA champion, Be super champion. Yeah, or whatever they call them. Yeah, just about four. Um, well, that's why it's an interesting division because it's divided up in it. All of them. There's a few good fights to be made there. So this is, I mean, this is really exciting. But I think there's Tiafimo. I think if they go through, who's the other? 
R- Romero and that one will sort out. I think that's why Cruz wants to get to belt. If Cruz gets there, you got Cruz and Tiafimo, the ones I'd go after first. Then you got Mateus and Mr. Russell. Which, I mean, Mateus has got one of the belts, isn't he? The top 10, you've got Sandor Martin, number 10, Gary Russell, mm-hmm. Barbosa, Catrell, Richardson, Hitchinson. And Catrell, gets, uh, Catrell and Taylor are in the conversation. Depending Pro on Gray, I wouldn't cut. Ca- um, Pro Gray's not. Too. Although Eddie Hearn raves about him, doesn't he? Can get him the fight. Ramirez, Matisse. Matisse, 20 wins, 20 knockouts. Yeah, yeah he's a beast. <laughs> Josh Taylor. That's why they're not calling him out. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to be calling him um, out afterwards. But he has lost, hasn't he? Tiafimo would probably be the one that's going to get called out by these guys because that's probably the biggest box office, isn't it? Winner of either either of these. Hmm. Has, Steve, has Matthias lost? No, I think he's... Professional boxing record. Yeah. Unanimous decision back in February 2020 against Petros and Anna Yan. Yeah. He's got better since then. <laughs> so. Although I'm looking at the names on his resume, and yes, he's a knockout art. Oh, they knocked out that breed of Prescott. That was the one, the guy that done Amir Khan, wasn't it? Yeah. He must be about 50 now. Something like that. He hasn't got a lot of names. On his record. Jemaya Ponce. Mm. Most. Well, I think few of them are padded I'm out. Looking, I'm looking at his record. Is it retired, 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 retired. I think that's why he's got more names. Unanimous <laughs> decision, TKO, retired. <laughs> Everyone seems to retire against him. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway. handed Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an exciting division. Well, I think that that's why this could be. That's why I'm Psych hoping it's division. a good start. And then there's like that, yeah, Cruz and uh, Romero. You've got Cruz and you've got Romero people. next week, and then you got H- Haney Garcia. Catrell. And then I think after that, there's it. And Catrell, and, well, we should have been sooner, but yeah, Catrell and Josh Taylor. Yeah. I think the winner of that puts himself back in. Uh, and then I think Lo- the only thing is because Taylor's got beat by Tiafimo. Yeah. I'm not sure there's a rematch here, but I think I'd really like it if Catrell gets his revenge and. Gets in there, I think puts on a good performance. I think he's in that equation. I mean, do you know what? Catrell's one of them. Taylor's probably the bigger box office draw, though. Taylor's the biggest box office because Catrell's boring, but Jesus Christ, he's one hell of a ta- ta- tactician. Um, but again, we'll discuss that when we, yeah, when we, we do that fight. podcast. But um, yeah, I think there's enough in there. Cruz is probably going to be there. If we, I want to see Haney for... Lopez because I just want to see Haney batter Lopez. Yeah. I, in that one, I would be firmly Thank spoken Evan Haney. At least agree with me on something. Um, yeah. yeah, I just want to see him. In or if Garcia him. wins this, then if Garcia um, batters him, I'd be happy with that as well. I want to see TFM. We get a proper hiding. We've got a quick five minutes to discuss two heavyweights at force at this last weekend. Go on. We can do. The return of Joe Joyce and Dillian White. <laughs> well, I think one was better than the other, wasn't he? But <laughs> Joe Joyce was about 10th round. He needs to... Re- he needs to stop. He's, oh, I'm back. Follow my, I'm going to be fighting all the top guys. No, you're not. You're going to get knocked out by every single one but of they them. They all know the game You now. have done nothing, nothing to improve. No. Your head <clears throat> is still static and any top heavyweight is going to box your head off. So. No, I think just he's out the no, equation now. You're not, you, you are well out the equation. You haven't got the granite chin like you said you had. And I know I'm being harsh, but stop talking bubbles. Yeah. Um, Dylan White, good to see him back. Cleared his name. Went through the process. Stayed quiet. Stayed out the public line. Like, but he's back. I don't know whether there was talk of him for the in the Queen's rematch room. I think Dillian White's always been good. He's always yeah. been a contender. He's he, not he, quite the top no, level, we, but I mean, in that did, second table, yeah, he's did, definitely there was, deserves Joe to be Joyce there. had a quick fight against Cash Alley, um, and Dylan White was well, against Joyce's, Hammer. Joyce's only his only thing, his claim to fame was his granite chin, which is gone. It wasn't. <laughs> he's gone. Yeah, well and truly twice. So it's not there anymore. Joe Joyce. Is, <laughs> the only thing that might save him is he beat Joe Parker. 
and Joe Parker might want a rematch. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the only big fight that Joe that Joyce might nice. have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but and thank you for the guy who left a comment about that Joe Parker was really, really ill in that fight, and that's why he wasn't the same as yeah, he was. Because I, I think it was the, the real um, Joseph Parker. I don't think that's so. That'd be interesting, but yeah. um, or oh, the one Joseph Parker in the current form would. They are think. apparently, I think it's this week or next week, announcing the Queensbury v match room. And there's talk of a Queensbury v match room in the UK as well. Oh, hadn't heard that. Um, Rumours. But I'm looking forward to this. I want to see who's... Well, I'm intrigued to see who they match up. Pitting up against who, yeah. So really interesting Well, I think we'll stuff. be doing that as the fight's yeah, coming up, isn't um, it? Because we've got... There's a few nice fights coming up in Saudi this, this and stop. other places. Stop. May is really hot. So May we is... We will have a fair few videos coming forward. going to be amazing. Um, yeah. And like I say, I think... Th I think the big kick, I mean, obviously we've had Joshua and things like that, but I think the Haney Garcia is the one that really... Well, well I'm hoping it lives up to what Fiori we've, we've hyped it up well, now. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be... Um, well, this Canelo Munguia is coming up, which we want to see. Yes, Although he wanted we, Benavides, but Canelo Munguia, we are fans of Munguia and Canelo is Canelo. So yeah, well, tonight, that could I'm be glad a really he's exciting fighting fight. Munguia because there, there was I think Munguia deserves a chance. Yeah, there was other that. people that... He and he could carry it. the mantle as the take over the mantle, so it'd be good. He's, he's very confident of it. Oh, he's a good fighter. We were fans after this last fight. So, uh, well, I, I am at least, I know. So. I think we both were. Um, there's Fury Usyk, obviously. We're, well, I didn't want to say that one because just want to make sure it's going ahead. But we will be doing another video yeah. on that. And I think then there's Bivol and Better Biev in June. So that's a little bit Huge after. Huge fight. Yeah, that's immense as well. And we have, give me one second, I'll get my notes. Da, 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 da. I've made a list. Where are we? So we've got, well, Taylor and Cattrall, but it's going to be rearranged. So it was supposed to be the 27th of April. Uh, or maybe that's the updated date because it was soon. But, okay. Um, so Canelo uh, Mungia, there's our man, in a way, versus Neri. Yes. Then Lomachenko Cambosis, Fury versus Usyk, and on the same card is Opa Tyen and Breedis. That's uh, a good fight as well. I don't know so, if it's another rematch, but it's a really good. Yeah, yeah. And then Bivol better be of in the first of June. And I think this, since I made this list, I think there's one or two others being announced. Um, I think there's Tank Davis versus Frank Martin. I don't know if that's confirmed. There was a lot of rumours, wasn't there? Um, I don't think a lot of them have, have been confirmed, but there are a lot of rumours. Who was the other one we were speaking about? There's somebody else that's in Hitch the... Uh, Richardson Hitchens is fighting Lemos on the 6th of April, actually. Um, so there's a few, and then I think there's a few coming up that they're trying to arrange as well. We're coming up in yeah. June as well. I think there's another big fight in June, although I'd only done it till the end of May and it was just that there's the first of June. So I had Bevel and Bivol and Better Beav. Um so yeah, there's a few interesting fights. Looking forward to see Opatire again. And Opatire Breedis was a good match. He broke his jaw and still managed to pull it off. It'd be interesting. Yeah, because uh, you think the interviewer would have some, like, you know, compassion. May your jaws hanging up. I can't speak. <laughs> Let me go. Uh, I'd like to say it's a, it's a great time for boxing. Um, I liked it. was a interview with Eddie Hearn and Oscar De La Hoya, which was quite an interesting watch, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I think De La Hoya's realized that you have to start. He needs to get involved. He needs to join together. the club. Um, <laughs> But it's good that all these promoters are fine. Well, I think they do because it'd be good to see like like the <clears throat> Matchroom versus... Um, Golden Boy? Yeah. Matchroom versus Queensbury, Queensbury versus Matchroom. I think it'd be useful Top to see rank. them different. Um, I mean... It, no, because it, it gives all these it gives the fighters who aren't quite there good chances yeah. to highlight the skills, showcase. But no, it's, 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 it's great that all these promoters are starting to... And, and then a, a bit more... Um, like the matchmaking is getting a little bit better now. So not, not just trying that. To I mean, I, 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 TV channels are starting to work together as well now. You know, because you I, they needed it. Yeah, the Joshua fight it. was on Sky Sports and the Zone, which was good. You know, we got well. You're opening yourself up to a yeah. bigger audience, so it, it's all good. It needs to happen. All good. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. All right. I Thank you very Have much. we predicted what we said? Um, I am going You're for... You predicted, I have. I'm going for a draw. Okay, good. Or... I like it. A draw if Garcia turns up. If he doesn't, which I, but I really hope he doesn't, I think Haney will knock him out in six or seven rounds. Um, okay. I just want a great fight, though. I really do. I would be more than enamoured if it goes to 12 and it's yeah. a draw. and But it's a proper fight. Yeah. And then we I'll can have an argument. Showcase of skills. And yeah, then there'll be an argument, argument on it. Like What's the draw? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I would be enamoured with that. Okay. Thank yep, you very much, your, mate. Thank you. Thank you, audience. And um, yeah, let us know in the comments what you think, what you think will happen. Do you think it's going to go ahead? Do you think the real Garcia will turn up? Fingers crossed. Um, what do you think of Haney's improvement of this weight? Do you think he is the main man in this uh, division? Like, the other, if, what do you think of the other ones? Well, we know there's some TFEMO fans are going to be upset. Oh, but yeah, if you are, let us know. Um, yeah, and we'll make a follow-up for it and we can add those other people in. Uh, and like, subscribe, comment, you know, all the usual goodness. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much.